A tiger in India has killed its 10th person. A tiger prowling near a village in northern India has killed its 10th person in six weeks after eluding a trap set by hunters with a live calf and bait. The female tiger is believed to have strayed from Jim Corbett's National Park, India's oldest national park that was established in 1936 to protect the Bengal tiger with safe territory. The big cat's latest victim is a 50-year-old man who was collecting firewood for his family on Sunday night, but was eaten by this cat. They're doing everything in their power to catch said cat. But this is what happens when man interacts with nature. And this is just part of a globalized world. And I'm telling you from personal experience. People don't know this, but I grew up in Alligator Alley in South Florida. And when I got to Alligator Alley, there were still alligators there. And pretty much, like, the alligators would cross the street... They'd be in your early pond. You see them like walking across the street or walking in your neighborhood. And you'd be like, whoa, there's totally an alligator walking in my neighborhood. My mom always used to say to me, son, this is what happens when humans start to evade, or invade rather, the land that was preserved to animals. And animals sort of have to have this as a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship. Eventually, the alligators move farther and farther and farther away from where um, you know our home was and we didn't see them as much but that's because more humans came in and they started to kill those and they started to kill those alligators that got too close to humans and so on and so forth but this is just what happens in a globalized society as the human population begins to grow and people begin to expand we face animals and the more animals we face the more we either scare them away or we are we're forced to cohabitate with them and in this particular situation this female tiger she's cohabitating quite well with her indian neighbors by killing 10 of them it's just the facts of life. Like Darwin says, you know, the strongest survive. We'll see what happens.